you can use in it random modules math modules so whatever knowledge you have gained in now all you have to put in one project and you have to take a real life project so here any real life project you can take now data you can collect from anywhere from internet from anywhere you can collect the data how it is functioning and you have to design a complete project so here i will show you some of the sample projects i will run and show you the students have only designed all this project so the first project i am showing here uh, in your project you will write this clearly that this project is done by me independently at the end also you write and put your signature that you have do done it independently on your own clear now here there is a menu driven program where items are purchased now when you run the program your output should be like this program you have to design on your own this program and how your output will be hello welcome to our shop information book your order if you type one it will show the information complete information and if you want to go back to the main menu you will select here one now book your order you will select here two and you will book your order here clear so these type of projects whatever you want here like you want the grocery items medicines or stationary items so whatever you want you can select from here and then the item number you have to select here and how many quantity you want you have to select here and then it will it should show that uh, pencil you have selected here item number one so item number one was your pencil and each pencil was of three rupees so here it is showing total amount is six rupees now you can keep on adding in that clear you want to shop again so it will ask for the here the three types of menus you have seen all the grocery items medicines and stationary items so like this the real life model for any shop or suppose i want to show you some other projects also like here i don't want to continue so i will come out of it and thanks for shopping so it is over now suppose i want to show here some other projects like there are many different types of projects here a stationery shop is there then in this you can see some here like random function has been used in this project so you can see import random is written here now hotel booking so randomly it will give the room numbers you can run this program and your output should be like this it will show here the rate chart book and exit so here the rate chart you can see so whichever you want this you can select here the type so if i enter the choice here like one if i enter here then it is showing the rate chart now i want to book the details so booking details it will ask you all the details it will ask enter the room type room number so room type you will mention then it will ask you your details all your details number of people and then the customer name then the address and check in date then the checkout date is 7 6 20 you try to make it user friendly that you that you can do you can check here see the room number it has allotted here this is randomly allotted random room numbers have been given so these are designed by the students only all the projects are designed by the students now here in your menu suppose you want to have here the breakfast so you will select here three so here it will show how many breakfast you want to then 50 50 rupees was given here into two so 100 so you can see here that it is showing the correct answer now if you want select here exit then it will show here all right so after this thank you please come again so this is your hotel one now next is your laundry section if you want to use your laundry section also so you can keep on adding and here you can see the quantity so it will show here 
one and two quantity men's trousers so five rupees it is showing here 10 so like this you can keep on continuing clear wherever you want to exit you can exit the now next one is suppose trekking you want to do import sys because sys dot exit you have to use in while loop otherwise it will remain in that so this also we have done now you can see here the project now one for trekking details so here enter the digits so one for trekking details i want so here the trekking details you can see uh, season one for summer two for monsoon three for winter so i want one so season is suppose summer now it is showing here some of the summers trekking places so here easy then there's difficult so whichever you want you can select here suppose i want the one now here you can see it is giving the details the treks is only for the age group of 18 to 40 so all the details is it has given number of trekkers if you have mentioned then after that it will display here see number of trekkers you have mentioned so here the total fare for two person is it was i think eight eight thousand four hundred so just the double of it is sixteen thousand eight hundred of including all the taxes then other than that all the details it is displaying here so whatever details are there everything it is displaying so if you want you can go for it the second one is the other difficult one like this you can keep on selecting and it will show you and like this the booking can be done clear so here for two persons you have selected here so it is showing here all the details of that particular option which you have selected so like this many projects are there you have to apply all the knowledge which you have learned till now so till now whatever you have learned everything it should be a menu driven project all the menus it should display and like this you can just display the output so it try to make a real life means in real life whatever projects we are designing so in this what you will do you will use if while for print commands already you have done import and import you have done in your 11th class syllabus math module random module statistic module in ip you are having numpy now sys sys dot exit we were using that's why you have written here sys so like this all the different choices are there and you have done the calculation portion also should be there so in your project all the different things the calculation the selection of the menu then uh, complete menu driven program break continue so these things you should be able to explain also where you will use break where you will use continue where pass so all these functions should be clear to you how it is functioning working clear so these type of projects so many projects i have shown you so all these projects you design one uh, one student will take only one project and after designing you should be able to explain it and you will remember the thing that in your project what you have to write at the top you have to write this project is done by me independently at the bottom you write it and do and give your signature clear so this is the proof that you have designed yourself for you somebody else hasn't designed and you have understood each and everything so that you will be able to explain also if i call you while giving the marks you can easily explain these things also so i think you all have understood because so many queries were coming that how to design it what to do which topics to take so that's why i have made this video so that you don't have any doubts so you take domain one by one and you mention me that which domain you have taken other than this also i have shown you so many domains so any domain you can take and you just tell me because the same domain the other student cannot take so you just inform me which domain you all are taking so that the same domain is not repeated so if you have any query you write in the comment section i will clear your doubts you are already talking with me discussing with me so i think 
till the in one week you will be able to design this complete project and try to use all the topics which you have learnt in class 11th that is not only flow of control for while if other than that the nested also you have used nested loops nested list like here the data is when school man management system the data is when you will store in one list one student data when many students data are to be stored you will use nested list to store the data then dictionary also you have done so in dictionary also like here roll number names marks of five subjects automatically it will calculate the total percentage of n students it will store and then toppers data highest lowest marks who have got who have got more than 75 who have passed the exam all these details can be used in this project school management system or result or examination management system so i think you all have understood now try to solve it and if you have any doubt you can discuss with me so thank you